Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a very different video. I'm finally doing a video on the daily driver. Sue's the Swift Sport. She's a 32S. It's my favourite thing in the entire world at the moment. What, what more can I say? I can't say much more than that to be honest. You will have seen a lurking round in the background videos of pretty much everything that I've done at the garage in the past few months to be honest. Um, and yeah, it's about time that I did a daily driver tour and of course someone's bloody ringing me. Cool. Right, so if you just um, get out of the old girl here. I'm not going to shut the door completely because the key goes absolutely not. So it's just uh, head back into the road here. There she is. That's my beautiful little 32S. So she's got stock wheels, although I've got some new wheel nuts in it because the locking wheel nuts were just absolutely knackered and I had to get them professionally removed, so I've replaced those. Coming around to the back of the car, again, it's completely standard bar two things. I've got a 4D number plate. That's a very new addition. And I do apologise about the mess. I'm going to go and get it cleaned up after this. Then we've got these four inch exhaust tips with the carbon on, so you can see them wobbling away there. Just the tips, it, it sounds sick with just the tips on. I'll get a, try and get a little close up. I love the idle on this thing, it's so cool. But yeah, these are definitely not stock. Um, other than that, the exhaust is completely stock all the way through. Not done anything apart from these tips, and that's pretty much it for the rear end. Obviously, you've got your standard spoiler. Again, around this side, no cosmetic mods besides the wind deflectors. I've um, put them on recently. There's going to be a separate video after this on how to install those wind deflectors. Dust caps. I did have some 10mm hex bolt ones on there, but I've had to put the stock one back on because all four managed to crack in the cold weather that we've recently had in the UK. So that's, um, that's a bit naff. Uh, coming around the front, again, no mods at all, bar the square 4D number plate. Now, because I'm an idiot, I ordered the wrong size. That's like a quad bike size. So I need to order one that covers this entire area. Um, and that is, that is going to be on the way very soon. I'll also put some new fog light cowls in because when I bought the car, I managed to smash this one to pieces with a stone. There is a scratch there. I also managed to do that on a different car, which was fantastic. It's also got these little um, headlight washers. It has these because the headlights are Xenon which is, that's just a really cool feature, I love that. Um, and that's about it for the exterior mods, to be honest. Uh, I'll pop the bonnet for you so you can see my beautiful custom intake. Oh yeah, I've also got these lights on the interior too, and I did those myself. Quite like those. Some might find that rice, some might find that nice, I don't know, I guess it's just each to their own. And there she is, God's own M16A engine. Um, and in here, I painted the oil dipstick red, I painted the oil cap red. And there's my intake system. We bought the pipes from TX Auto Sport. That's the name I was looking for earlier. And there's my just eBay special common filter. I'm hoping to replace this with the K&M 57i kit in the future. I'd quite like to. I've also painted the block white. Um, but again, it needs a clean, again, white, white, trying to make it match. Got a few of the little cosmetic bits in here. But yeah, it's filthy in here. It does need a good detail. Um, and other than that, that's that's about it for under the bonnet, to be honest. So we'll, uh, we'll shut her up. She does have some bad paint chips on the bonnet. They're getting professionally done. I ain't gonna tackle that myself. I'd rather let a professional do that. But yeah, there she is. That's my daily driver and she drives like a dream. I'm about to film another video on her, um, which is, uh, I'm not gonna reveal actually. You'll, uh, you can you can wait to see that one. Oh yeah, one more thing actually. I've got white calipers on the front. I'm yet to do the back ones because it's not quite warm enough to paint around it. It's not quite that 10 degrees yet. So let's just hop back in before these people probably think I'm a nutter. In his panda, 100 horsepower R bar. That's really cool. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm gonna start with the next one now. Uh, this is Susie, and you're gonna be seeing a hell of a lot more with her because trust me, there is some big, big things coming for this car. So yeah, if you left, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I got distracted by that rabbit in the bloody field. Then that's enormous. That's probably hair actually. Anyway, like the video, subscribe, notification bell, um, comment. Actually, yeah, comment some mods that I can do to this thing within reasonable prices. Don't comment ones over 100 quid because I can't afford them just yet. But if you do, I'll put them to one side on a list. And I'll make a list. But yeah, waffle over. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.